Hey guys, I wanted to share a quick thought on the Parsha. So in this week's portion, we find that Jacob lived the best years of his life in the land of Egypt, specifically the darkest place, the place which was the antithesis of the land of Israel, which and what the children of Jacob and Jacob himself represented in their virtuous ways of living. Uh, Egypt was rampant with idolatry, with immorality, etc. And, and yet it says that Jacob lived the best years of his life, 17 years. And it says, Vayichi, he lived in Egypt. And the big question is, how could he have lived the best years of his life? The retirement, the golden years in a place which is the exact antithesis of what he's all about and what he was used to. That's the question. So think of the answer. <laughs> While you're thinking, uh, there's a beautiful teaching about this concept. And it goes like this. Well, we know that the whole purpose of creation is for us to make a dwelling place for the creator down in this world. And that means to, you know, to roll up our sleeves and to essentially uh, get to work on what we're supposed to be doing and really do our best to transform the darkness of this world into a place of light, of goodness, etc. And so since that's the purpose of the world, of the creation of the world, the transformation of darkness into light, so to speak, that is the answer to this question. The best years of Jacob's life happened or took place in Egypt because Egypt is that place of darkness, of immor immorality. And at the same time, because of that, Jacob's light pervaded in that place of darkness and transformed it to a place of light. So lesson for us from this week's Parsha, that whatever situation we're in, wherever we're at, we have to realize and recognize that we're there to make a dwelling place for the creator in this world, transform the darkness of the experience, of the challenge, of the place that we're in, either physically, emotionally, spiritually, recognize that we're there to transform it, that it's not abnormal to have challenges and to be in a place of obscurity. It's all about what we do with it, the transformation of it. Wishing you guys many blessings. Shabbat Shalom.